Hi everyone, it's Joy here, and I'm excited to share with you this fun slimline card and how I used the new Scalloped Square Masking Stencil add-on. Now I'm using the Diagonal Stitch Square Stacklets, the Scalloped Square Masking Stencil, the Square Masking Stencil, Spring Stem Stamp and Coordinating Die, the Mini Strips Easter and the Mini Strips Die, Foam Sticky Strips and Circles, for the cardstock, I'm using Sugar Cube and Toffee. For the ink, I'm using Cherry Pop, Candy Corn, Lemon Meringue, Granny Smith, Blue Raspberry, Jelly Donut, Sugar Cube, Toffee, and Oreo. Blender brushes, white rhinestones, and Scotch removable tape. Now I have my slimline card base cut from some Toffee cardstock, and it's just a little bit smaller than the eight and a half by three and a half. And those yellow pieces of cardstock are just scratch pieces. They're about the same size as that opening in the scalloped square stencil. I laid them out and just used a pencil and made some light marks so I can know where to put my stencil so it's lined up evenly on my slimline card base. So I'm using the grid paper kind of as a, a guide to line up my stencil. And I'm taping that down and I'm going to come in with some sugar cube ink and I'm actually using one of the pastel blender brushes and I just have this dedicated to the sugar cube white ink. I'm going to ink this up and when we peel this away you're going to have this beautiful scalloped stenciled background on this toffee cardstock. So I'm going to do the top one and then I'm going to also do the bottom one because remember I marked off where I need to line up this stencil. So once that's done, we've got this great scalloped stenciled background. Now I'm gonna come in with the regular square stencil. I'm going to center that in, and as you can see through the stencil there, there is still that scalloped outline, which is perfect. I'm coming in with the toffee cardstock, and I'm gonna blend that in, in the center. So when I pull this back, we'll have a toffee center and a white scalloped border around this square. I'm going to do that the same thing at the bottom as well. And as you can see the top there, look how fun that looks. It almost looks like a little vintage postage stamp. So once I'm done doing that, I'm going to let that dry. Now I'm going to come in and use the diagonal stitch square stacklets. I'm using the smallest one. I'm taping that down to hold it in place. I'm going to run that through my die cut machine and I will do this for both squares and it gives a great stitched de detail around the inside edges of each one of those stenciled squares. Now in my Misty, I have a piece of sugar cube cardstock and I've got some images from the Spring Stems stamp set. And I'm kind of doing a rainbow order, even though it's gonna look a little abstract once I put this together. So I, the colors that I'm using for the rainbow are Cherry Pop, Candy Corn, Lemon Meringue, Granny Smith, Blue Raspberry, and Jelly Donut. And these are all fairly bright colors. And even though this is going to be on a toffee cardstock, which looks like a craft cardstock, I really wanted the images, the floral images and the butterflies to really pop off of the card. So I've got five butterflies there. I'm using four of the larger images for of the flowers. And I'm just gonna stamp those and use the coordinating dies to cut those out. And I'm gonna stamp a few more images to make sure I kind of get that rainbow order how I need it to be. So once I'm done with all that, I'm going to start stamping the sentiment. Now this is the mini strips Easter sentiment. I've got a piece of sugar cube cardstock in my Misty. I did need to take out the foam insert because this is a red rubber stamp. So it is a bit thicker than my clear stamps. Inking that up with Oreo ink. I'm going to ink that up twice to get a good crisp image. And then see those little squares on the side. That is to help you use the coordinating die and to line that up to get your sentiments die cut perfectly. So I'm lining that up, taping it down and running it through my die cut machine. I'm actually going to be using two of the sentiments. I'm using Happy Easter from All of Us. So I'm just gonna put those two aside because those are the ones I'm using for this card and the rest of them I will keep aside for other projects. So now I've, I like to lay out my design ahead of time and then I can start gluing it together. So I'm just going to adhere most of these down directly to the card panel, but I will use some foam tape behind some of the butterflies and behind those sentiments. So I glued down the flowers first, put my sentiments in place, and now I can adhere 
these butterflies. I am using the foam sticky circles for the butterflies and I use the foam sticky strips behind the sentiments. So those are the few things that are going to have dimension. And now that you can see these pretty butterflies and flowers over the scalloped stenciled background, it really looks like a fun postage stamp. So I adhered that to a white slimline card base. I added some white rhinestones to finish off this card and look at all the dimension and the depth. Isn't that such a pretty card? It turned out so, so good. You can see how the scalloped edge looks beautiful with the sugar cube ink and then the toffee ink on the inside blends in with the background card base. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. You can find all of these projects at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.